All right, drips again here, but, uh, and why do I say that? Because it says drops per mil. We've got a giving set which zooms in 20 drops per mil, so we know it's a drip setup. Uh, and we look for the volume here, and it's 50 mil, so a fairly small amount, and therefore, if I haven't completely crossed it out, um, we've got a small time in which to put it through. So that's 20 minutes, that is saying there. So very similar uh, to our other drips over hours, and therefore you set it out in much the same way. So, uh, what's the volume required? It's 50 over how long? It's 20 times our giving set, which is 20. And what are you going to do now? Now stop before you say 60, because if you remember the reason we had a 60 down here before, was that we could convert the hours to minutes because our answer was in drips a minute, drops a minute. But this is already in minutes. We were told it was in 20 minutes. Therefore, guess what? You don't have to multiply by the 60. But I'd still put a 1 there, uh, as I say, just to balance up the equation and to remind you to multiply the bottom and the top, top separately. So this isn't uh, so bad as it might have looked. Again, we can divide by 10 or move the decimal point one way in. This is what we're doing. Uh, I'll cancel off the naught. So it's nice to know why you're cancelling off the naught or dividing by 10. Um, and you can do one or two things really here. You can multiply the 5 by the 20. Let's do that. Uh, two fives are 10, so that's 100 over that side. And multiply the bottom, uh, which is 2. Uh, and even you know that 2 is into 100 will be 50, or half of 100 is 50. So we did that quite quickly. Uh, I guess the numbers are easier, weren't they? Uh, so, putting in the answer, 50, don't forget the units, drops per minute. Quite easily done, as they say.